PVC should cancel stud for murder? Oh. Yesterday I participated in a Lego building challenge. The rules were simple. I had 20 minutes to build any build I wanted, and the goal was to be the best out of two other builders. Now, this contest was actually hosted by my friend, The Brick Council. He runs a great channel, very funny over there. And I thought I'd put my hat in the ring, and I really wanted to do it. He did one before, and I thought it was the coolest thing. I was sad I missed out on the first one, and I thought it was finally time for me to do it. And here we go. Now, in this video, I am going to be showing you my mock as well as a bit of what happened and how I was able to get it in a hyperlapse of me building, and it's just fantastic. And we're going to get into all of it, so I'm going to ask you all to hit that subscribe button. And with that said, let's get into it. Also, before we get into it quickly, I do need to ask you all to go down in the comments and vote for my mock. We are very close to the ending. About now, we're left of voting as this is about to be uploaded. So make sure you go vote. I have a link to the Brick Council's community tab. You need to vote for Republic Studs. It is getting pretty close, I will admit. So I would really appreciate your help. We are neck and neck for getting it. I mean, right in this picture, we're not, but you know, we'll get there, trust me. Just, just make sure you to go vote in that. So first off, I need to figure out what I was going to base this off of. And I thought of nothing better than the legendary character of Boba Fett. Now obviously the Book of Boba Fett has just released, we've seen trailers for it, I didn't do anything really spoilery, it was just a fun little mock-up of what a Boba Fett scene would look like, I guess. There was no basing on it of anything other than some maybe trailer shots we saw with one character, which I'm really proud of by the way, and we'll get into it in a second. But yeah, Boba Fett was obviously the obvious choice, I really wanted to do something that obviously took place on Tatooine, which is why I decided to also do a tan, regular, small, Base plate. But I couldn't leave that alone just as is because that is boring. You need to do some layer of detailing around it. And I decided the quickest thing I could do is a simple black border. So basically you just take a tile like this and you kind of put it around, but I wanted to do a little better than that. So I actually put a brick under there and then put the tile on top of that brick just so that way I had as much space as possible on my plate. Now next was kind of determining what I wanted to do. Uh, from the get-go, I knew I wanted to do a little Tatooine house on it in some way, shape, or form. I wanted to include this little hood piece I had from a cantina set that I've had in the past. I'm not sure, exactly sure how to describe it. And I figured, hey, maybe I'll do a little toy store in there because that sounds kind of fun. That was all the real planning I had to do. There was not a ton of stuff. Again, I did get some bricks out, just like general bricks that would have worked for the mock. I planned that out a tiny bit, but nothing too insane. Now came time for the contest. Welcome all to the stream. And of course, we have our last contestant in today's group. We're going to be swarmed by his fans, surely, and in minutes, in minutes. Tuscan, welcome, Republic Stud. Oh, oh. oh. great, Ron. Oh. Okay. Um, hi. Well, how are you feeling going into this competition? I am feeling fantastic. I am so excited. I watched the Book of Boba Fett this morning, and I'm like, you know what would do well in views on my channel? It would be a little Boba Fett mock if I uploaded that like sometime soon. And yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone votes for me. Uh, and I hope everyone is cool. Uh, the, the guy named Tuscan says, don't let the ginger win. So this I mean, is also going to be a fight on behalf of all gingers out there. We need to stop gingism. I, I am strongly against you it. You don't want to pick that battle. Everybody's going to vote against you if you're for gingers. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Now, the real question was, would I be able to overcome and beat these other builders in spite of all the rampant gingism? Out of the other two contestants, out of the other two contestants, who do you think is your biggest competition? Um, I think my biggest competition is myself. Just want to let you know that every person who has said my biggest competition is myself has lost. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Now, I was pitted against two different builders. First off, this guy named Chris, he wanted to do a Spider-Man mock, so I knew I had a pretty good shot at winning because in Marvel, you can't do anything good with Marvel. And the next one is a person who is not a fan of the channel. Now, he apparently is a very distasteful person of my channel, so the stakes were incredibly high. And by the way, I take none of this seriously. This is all a joke in my opinion, but I was having fun with it. And then came the opening announcement, which I will play in its full context. Now, it was scary because the Brick Council's rabid army apparently hates talent and hates gingers. I don't know what this thing was. Down with the ginge, Chris, Chris, Chris. Uh, TVC should cancel stuff for murder. Oh. But I decided I needed to fight for my people, my red-haired brethren. There are not many of you out there, but for what few, I will fight 
for you. And honestly, I thought the odds were kind of against me because the chat did not like me. Uh, but right now, we're pulling in pretty good as I'm looking at this phone. Look at that, we're already at 47%. Now came time for the building. And this is where we get into the hyperlapse. the mock and it is quite an excellent one for a 20 minute build i do not think this is bad now i am still meddling around with the smoke pieces because that's just what i do so like that that's just a little thing uh, but yeah so basically the main premise here is boba is being attacked by one of these guards i'm not entirely sure what the deal is with them is and i'll take a look at them in a second but first i just want to take a look at the build now like i said we do have that black border it is keeping it up nice and simple and again that is a piece that fell off right over here these are actually the coins that were in boba's helmet but i did want to keep the helmet on because I felt it looked way cooler and he never actually even used his jetpack officially in the show which is why I you know was kind of being inconsistent with that in general uh, but yeah either way we do have a look at this whole little battle going on there is some plain old greebling here and I bet a lot of you are wondering what is behind that little hut right there there's actually a business interaction going on here. Fennec Shand is giving some money to this little uh, pit droid for a plush version of the child, which is indeed epic. We do get this. This is a Firestar Toys custom print. His little plush animal thinks it's adorable because it is indeed adorable. So I had him holding that because that she wanted, I guess, to find the child or buy a plushie of him because she saw the Mandalorian. Oh, wait, she was in the Mandalorian. And there's also a red-haired uh, Tuscan in the back for no particular reason that is probably not alive. Now here is the basic hood. This is like the hood of the Hatchetween houses. I don't know why they do these. Uh, it's kind of unstable, but it's still an interesting you know, build. I wanted to get it used in my opinion, or in, at least a little bit. And we also do have some basic side greebling. I took inspiration from the most Icely Cantina set. Now over here behind Boba Fett is some smoke. Now the way I do this smoke actually is pretty great. I get some ice cream pieces and I stack them up and it just looks fantastic. I don't think they've done ice cream in gray, which is probably why I didn't you know, have m many gray pieces because that would look better probably. And then there's also some coins on the ground because again, he did drop that and we talked about that in the beginning. Boba Fett's great. I tried to stand him up on ice cream pieces. I have done that in the past, but it was just taking too long. So I just kind of decided to cheat a little bit and I put him on some e extra elevated sand. Now I want to take a look at this guy because I was really proud of it. Now here is a look at the little raider. I'm not entirely sure what to call him, so I'm going to call him a raider or a, uh, you know, just guard of some sort. Uh, now, this was a really fun build to do. First off, what I did, basically, I took the legs, torso, and headpiece from the Bantha versus T-16 Skyhopper Microfighter set. Uh, that's what that's all for. I got this black mask because they all had masks on, and they were all wearing black on their hoods and everything. So this was the best thing I did. I tried to find a beanie. I, I just wasn't finding any. Uh, they also did have these little sticks, so I did give him one of those that these electric sticks it was the same one that came with the solo set i'm completely blanking on the name and then you also did give them a jar jar shield this is the only shield i had i didn't have any nexo knight ones which probably would have been more ideal and i honestly just think it looks great i really like the look of him i think it is great i hope lego does something along these lines obviously not exactly like this hopefully more exclusive and then obviously you did get the boba fett minifigure now with boba fett i did give him a special blaster this is a brick arms rifle which is great. And also with uh, Fennec Shand on top of her little money piece that she has here, I also did give her that little cycler rifle. Now, ideally, I would have loved to have Fennec Shand up on the top of the roof but i didn't have time to position her legs and everything uh but i did now so i figured that looks pretty cool and for a 20 minute moth this doesn't feel awful in my opinion now let's get to the final verdict and what i'm hoping will happen with this yeah. republic studs pvc uh, with yeah. on i'm building all right he's building i need to ask you a question though do you feel like you <laughs> need to do anything differently do you feel like you do anything differently in the last six minutes 
Uh, well, first off, I would like to talk about the horrible gingerphobia. Let's keep it up like that. Um, I am doing fantastically. Guys, he's not cheating. Chill. So, now I have completed this mock. I will find out shortly if I am going to win. And if you guys want to find out, make sure to vote. It will tell you how much people and how many things, who, who's winning. Just make sure to vote for me specifically. And if I win, then I'll move into the next round and hopefully the next round and hopefully we'll keep covering this on the channel because I found this fun. And huge thank you to the Brit Council. This is a super fun little contest he's got going here. And maybe I'll do something along this lines in the future. So stay tuned for that. And it seems really fun. With that said, I will see you guys all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.